Ladies and gentlemen, the SJCC 2020 Marching Band. The SJCC Marching Band, under the direction of Mr. Bill Burkett, is pleased once more to perform for you at Don Paul Stadium. Please rise as the SJCC Band honors those who are alumni of the school and those that are presently students at Bishop Hoffman Catholic School. Here is the SJCC alma mater. As a Catholic school system, we take a moment to reflect and pray for all those gathered here tonight. We start with a brief moment of silence. Dear Lord, thank you for the athletes, coaches, and officials participating in this contest tonight. Thank you for the fans who are here to support them. Guide the athletes to do their best, show sportsmanship, and remain injury free. Guide the coaches and officials to do their best so their decisions reflect fairness and life lessons beyond the game itself. Guide the fans so they cheer for their team with pride, dignity, and respect. And help us all appreciate this opportunity to celebrate the many gifts and talents you have given these young student athletes. We ask this as always through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, as we rise for the playing of our national anthem, remember this. We live in the greatest country in the world with freedoms like no other. We honor America and all those men and women who have served and those who are still serving our great country, especially those graduates of Cardinal Stritch High School and St. Joseph Central Catholic High School by playing our national anthem. For it is through their efforts and great sacrifice that we continue to enjoy our freedoms.
Well, everyone, this is Dave Meade for Everyday Collections. Glad to have you with us. We're here to videotape the St. Joe Central Catholic Crimson, Crimson Streaks hosting Cardinal Stretch. Videotaping this on Friday the 28th of August 2020, and that's going to be a touchdown right away for the streets. Logan Johnson returns the opening kickoff for a touchdown. Next year, Cardinal Stretch had to cancel a little more than half their season. They played St. Joe, and then they just didn't have enough players because of illness and a bunch of other reasons, and they just were not able to complete their season, but they're here today, and they seem to have a pretty good squad of of players, in numbers at least. First game of the season, we're under restrictions because of the coronavirus. And I hope you'll bear with us here. I'm uh, up here by myself tonight because of... That's up and it's good. That's Paige Duzak with the extra point. Paige Duzak. That's the extra points in. First game. Kicking for St. Joe there. The two kickers are Paige Duesbach and Ella Price. Numbers six and nine. I believe both of them play soccer. Paige plays soccer for Fremont Ross because this year St. Joe does not have a soccer team for the girls. And uh, Ella, I think, I, I can't think, think, remember for sure, but I think it was Lakota where, where she plays soccer. Regardless, they're the kicking team for the streaks. Paige is the daughter of Todd Duesbach, used to be head coach here, and uh, his wife Amy was Amy Vassar. And he works for the school system here, and Todd is up at Rossford, where he's been the head coach for a number of years. St. Joe's kicking off from the 40-yard line. It's good to hear the band out here today. I got here early, but no matter how early I get here, I'm always trying to catch up. That's going to be a short kick, and it's down here to number 10, who takes it down at about the 35 yard line. That was uh, Jaden Beckwith who downed the ball. Again, at the 35 yard line, first and 10 for Cardinal Stitch. A little raspiness in my voice today. It's the uh, pollen we've had in the air the last couple of weeks. I was outside working yesterday. It was kind of warm out, but felt good. It was good to get out of the house. Because of the coronavirus, there are a lot of restrictions for teams this year. And for their games, they're only allowed four tickets for each family of a player or cheerleader or, or any other person who is working on the field. And that is it. And you can see the keeper play on the voting side of that. That's kind of a sparse crowd, but we expected it tonight. And then the same thing's true over here on this side with St. Joe. And you don't, you don't hear a lot of kids here. I think it's basically adults. And you don't believe there's a concession stand either. Dwayne Moorhead, there's a penalty on the play. Now Moorhead gets the ball down to the 38-yard line, but I think it's going to come back. I think there was a holding. It's really not a bad night, except it's been raining all afternoon. We had some lightning earlier, and they're afraid they might have to postpone the game a little bit, or, you know, push it off a little bit on time. But as it is, 
They're out here playing. It's good to see them play football this fall. Down. Number five, yeah, I want to make sure the numbers, I can see them fairly clearly. Even with this rain, it was number five, Derek Ritzman. Ritzman is a, an outstanding player. Ten thirty-two to go in this first quarter. Score is seven nothing St. Joe. Now we got a couple of button yards out of the nice little in the run. Fourth down. Number five, Derek Ritzman. Yeah, it's kind of shanked off to the right. And I think it goes out of bounds. Right around the line 40. One yard line for the streaks. Number 22 is trying to make an end run there. Scoring a good touchdown, but he made it to the And it looks like uh, Johnson that 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 puts him back at the 45-yard line. 45-yard line for St. Joe. Second down coming up. 13 yards to go for first down. 9.15 to go in this first period. Coming around this way. Burrow I think it's the ball, picks up a few more. Two, the quarterback down. Jimmy Burrow is 5'10 and uh, 200 pounds, and he's the quarterback. When I first saw him out on the field, I knew who he was, but when I saw him out on the field earlier, I didn't see the number. I thought, man, he's a big kid, but he's 200 pounds, and he is the quarterback. He runs it again, this time around the left side, across the 40-yard line. Yeah, loose a little bit for him. Oh, my God, but he was down already. This time with 39, is going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down and nine for the streaks. With... Just under eight minutes to play in this first period. And we're going to let it run down, let the clock run down. And they'll take a timeout. 7.24 to go in the first quarter. St. Joe with a timeout, leading 7 nothing. And St. Joe's going to go for it with a fourth and nine on Cardinal Stritch's side of the field. Got the pass out there across the 30 yard line. I heard a two to 30 yard line. It's a lead. Complete to Kingdom lead, and it's going to bring up a first down with 7.15 to go in this first period. 7 nothing St. Joe. Ball was on the 30 yard line of Cardinal Stretch. And just a little bit of wind coming straight in at, at us. Not enough to move the flag. Flag is really wet. Number 22 again carrying the ball. He's going to get a bunch of carries tonight. 
Logan Johnson, who ran that ball, is five listed as five nine hundred and sixty pounds. And I will have to tell you, when I was a senior in high school, I was five nine and a half and about one hundred and sixty pounds. But you can't tell that now. Busted play. Burroughs have kept it, and it's going to bring up uh, third down no on the five. Play. Dave Amarante is in the announcer's booth over there. I see him. He was here about, came about time uh, I came upstairs. I don't know if he's still a real estate agent or not. I know he was. He's got a good voice. We're announcing. 5.26 to go in this first period. And Burrow keeps it again. Keeps the ball. This time he gets it. Uh, this it's time it is 15. It's going to be a first down. And we have 5.14 to go in the period. We've got a timeout called by the officials. They have an injury down in the field. In the rules that I read for this coronavirus period of time that we're in, the, uh, one of the offensive players has to carry, take, the, take the football back to the huddle and keep it dry. The officials are not touching the football. And then when they come out of the huddle, the center takes it up and sits it down on a little bean bag there. You see it almost in the middle of the screen. I have a new camera this year. It doesn't have quite the zoom as the other camera, but it has very, very high resolution. It's a 3980. It gives me really good resolution, good pictures with it. 514 as I said, and we have an injured St. Joe player. Ropes number 62. For St. Joe. Oh, the lineman, yeah, he's uh, got a little bit of a limp there. 62 is Gavin Bauer, 6'1 and 265. Ball is back in play. Clock will start in just a moment. We have a first down for St. Joe on the 16 yard line of Cardinal Stretch. Hand off to number 22, and he gets Johnson with the carry. About four yards out of it, three yards out of it, down to the 13. Of about three, the second. It's unusual for 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 uh, me to be here as the only media person, other than I suppose uh, newspapers. I don't see any other cameras or I don't see any radio here either. Some schools are setting up live video feeds. They have a timeout called. So each team is taking a timeout. 4.33 to go in this first period. It is 7 nothing St. Joe. There's a touchdown. There it is, and then with a touchdown. Which one puts it in? And makes it a 13 nothing. St. Joe lead. Going to kick again. So Price misses, and we have a 13-0 game. St. Joe leading with 4.24 to go in this period. 
Kicks him short. Jaden Moss with the return. Coach just dropped this. The kick. She and Ella will be changing back and forth. Nice and Drewsbach. Going back and forth with the kicking duties. Miles keeps the ball, picks up the first half of the Cardinals. And the quarterback keeps it. It's number nine. As we see there, number nine is the quarterback. Right, so on the carry, there's a... Nope. And you'll see where he put the beanbag down on the field. And then the center comes up and places the ball so that the officials do not have to touch the football. Nice pitch. And that is going to be a touchdown for Cardinals Rich. Touchdown by Dwayne Moorhead. Moorhead. Puts it in. First touchdown for Cardinal Stretch. We have 314 to go in this first period. 13 6 Angel Leeds. Bobby Heskett makes it good. Seven points now for Cardinal Stritch, 15 for St. Joe, 314 to go in this first period. And that's good. Let's kick it off. Get a lot of wind up there. Pretty good up there. Let's go shortly. About midfield between the five and the lane. So Joe again, number 22, Watson with the return of the Montana Ball. Back to 48, Joe Shane Joe. First and second for the. Wide receiver right and left. That's a loss of yardage. Second and 12. Ball is on the 45 yard line of St. Joe. Under 220 left in the first period and St. Joe's gonna call in the timeout. with only two minutes to play in this first period. Players have to maintain a certain distance from each other on the sidelines too. 
It's going to seem to bunch all up, and they can only, each team uh, can only field a specified number of players. That doesn't help hurt uh, Cardinal Stretch of St. Joe. We have 53. We have about one. It'll be fourth down. And six, 65. 53 and 65. More Cardinal Stretch. Marquand Valentine is number 65. I think I said 63. That'd be Trey Neely. Up by three. Moss. Down by three. Got a flag on the play. Three was Jaden Moss, and Obergon was the St. Joe player pulled him down. Personal foul. Sure, with the horse collar tackle. You know, the horse collar with the um, with mask, if the players have a mask on or have some kind of other device to cover their mouths, if they, that is pulled, that is a horse collar. Thirty-eight seconds left to play in this period. Thirteen seven. St. Joe Stitch would like to get something in, at least in this toward the end of this first period. That's a big loss. One yard loss, we have 13 seconds, 10 seconds left to play in this period. And I think that they're just going to stand on it. Go to the bench with the score 13-7, St. Joe overstretch. Second and 10 from the 41. Long throw. Beautiful pass. All the way to number three, Moss. That was a, about a 55-yard pass. Quarterback keeps it. I'm going to keep the clock running. Second down coming up. 11 with 3 to go this second quarter. Now it's going to be a third down. No, he doesn't get it in. He's going to pick up a fourth down. He was killed by well, number we're going 11. Down the two yard line, it'll be fourth down. That one is Moorhead. He's a senior. Under 10 minutes to go in this first half, second quarter. Going forward on fourth. He was kept out of the end zone. Tackles, push out of bounds on Logan Johnson. It'll be first and ten streaks. 
Johnson knocked him out of bounds. Sanger holds tough inside the five yard line. Now they only have 93 yard, 97 yards to go. He gets a little bit out of it. About the four yard line. Richmond with four yard game. That was Richmond who carried the ball. Richmond got two out of that. It's now second and eight. I was going to say he made it out of the end zone. That was awful close. Third and 12, lost the two on that play. Third and 12, they're putting it on the one. 8.20 to go in the first half. 13-7. St. Joe over Cardinal Stretch. Got a flag thrown, probably on uh, stretch, a lot of yelling going on over there. No, oh, he's, maybe it was time. I think time was up. But they put the flag away. I'm out, St. Joe, that's the last time St. Joe time takes their last time out of the first half. So they laid the flag, laid the flag off for using too much time. A little bag is sit down there on the one yard line. 7.58 to go in this second quarter. 13 7, St. Joe over stretch. Third and 12. Receivers wide, one on each side. Pass only. And that is incomplete. It's going to be another fourth day. It's by him. Nice tackle by number 16. Jackson Wright pulled down. Jaden Moss. And it'll be a first down for the Cardinals. And they're sitting in St. Joe territory at the St. Joe 44 yard line. 7.47 to go in this second quarter. My voice seems to be coming back a little bit with use. A little raspy early on because of allergies this time of the year. Nice run. Awful close to the first down. Bounce with the keeper, picks up the first down. He does pick it up. Flag <laughs> called, flag thrown on it. Pass complete, pass interference call on the play. Chop block on the offense, pass interference on the defense, both penalties offset. Repeat first down. Well, you heard Dave Valente tell us what happened there. There was a clear pass interference, but because of the chop block, they cancel each other out and they come back for a first and ten from the 34. Morgan carried the ball on the handoff. So it'll be the second down with two yards to go on the 26. Wow. 
Number one. He's not going to make it, but he's close. He'll bring up a third down. Now it'll be first down. First down, Cardinals. Short pass. Nice tackle. Uh, and by 20. Yeah, it was Moorhead with the reception. Neither of these teams are letting the play, go, play clock get down very far, except St. Joe's done it about two or three times. The pass is incomplete. Brings up right down. Third down. Harry Kurt was back there to break it up. 5.39 to play in the second quarter. 13-7 St. Joe over Stritch. Fourth and one. They have plenty of time. 16, 15 seconds on the play clock. And we get it. Hey, he was down. Carry, but there's a flag on the play. Flag right back here. That's probably going to be a holding. That's a hold. Oh, yeah. A little fourth and 15, and Stritch is going to call a timeout, I think. No, they didn't. Not a timeout. They just had to get personnel in. It's going to go for a field goal. Now they have to call another timeout. And then the five hours switch. Cardinals are sitting up for a play. Five oh five on the game clock. St. Joe gets the ball. to about the 34-33 yard line. Center sets the ball down. Quarterback keeps and he does not get anywhere. Right about where he left off. Uh, I guess he left out to the 34. 13 seconds left on the play clock. Quarterback's going back to pass, changes his mind, sets the run. He had a big opening there. With some real good blockers, giving him space. Burrell picks up the first down for the three. Burrell gets across the 50 yard line. The first and seven, the 34. The first and 10 from the 46. 46 yard line. I thought he'd gotten across the 50, but he did not. So the ball is on the 46-yard line of Cardinal Stretch. 3.20 left to play in the first quarter. 13-7 St. Joe leading. Stretch had an opportunity moments ago to score and uh, ended up with a penalty. Pushed him back too far. He had a fourth and 15. Went for a pass and missed it, so that turned the ball over to St. Yeah, Joe. 2.45 to play in this first half.
And so each of gets across the midfield. Third and three after that four yard carry. Down about two minutes to go. Second quarter. Nice tackle, but he missed the guy with the ball. And so we're going to have another first down. Johnson with the first down. Johnson's first down puts it at about the 38-yard line. There's the 38-yard line. Yep. First and 10. Second down, one and 21 to go. Yeah, 21 seconds to go in the first half. 13-7, St. Joe. He looks like he's got about everybody out there. That's a sack. Burrow brought down behind the line of seven. Brings on third down. Burrow is down. He's getting up. And he'll have to come off the field. And five seconds to go. First half. Wonderful. He's sitting up quick. Calls against St. Joe. Look at Richmond in quarterbacking. 46 seconds. Fourth and 17 with 39 seconds to go, and St. Joe will have to run a play. We still have about 26, 25 seconds and counting down on the play clock. Woodsman comes back in. Talking to the coach on the sideline. Woodsman pass is incomplete. And the ball turns over to the Cardinals. First and 10, but... They're on 45, and they have only have 34 seconds left on the clock here in the first half. Had a little movement on the end down there, number 77, nothing important. Got a flag thrown. Flag on the play. Flag is right along the line of scrimmage. Got a procedure call against Cardinal Stritch. And Stritch loses another five yards, so now they're on their own 40, first and 10. Three time out left for Stritch, and I think they're going to call it. Three. Oh, the skies are still a little cloudy, but there's no rain. And we're taping this on Friday night, August the 28th, 2020, in the midst of the virus. COVID-19.
Now we only have time. We don't have any time. We'll put it the end of the first half. 13 7, St. Joe over Stretch at the half. Written in 1980 by Jonathan Kinney, Neil Sean, and Steve Perry, one of Journey's biggest hits ever features Junior Antonio Baez on the saxophone and Senior Chris Christopher Socio on the trumpet. Here is the monster hit, Don't Stop Believing. Featuring our auxiliary member, Abby Rich, we conclude our halftime show honoring the group Journey with another of their greatest hits. Here is Separate Ways.
SJCC Marching Band wishes to thank you for your kind attention and wishes you a pleasant rest of the evening. Let's go streaks! We are about ready for the second half to begin. We've got half time down to 10 minutes and that would mean that the band from the opposing school does not get a chance to play. We're thankful for St. Joe Band being able to give us both, both a pregame and a halftime show. Cardinals fall at the 41, it'll be first and 10. 13-7 is the score. St. Joe is up 13-7. Wet field. And obviously it will dry fairly fast. Had rain to start the game, but it's not been out there for a while. Pass is complete. Second and three. Ball is on the 41 yard line for Cardinal Stretch. Cardinals have had, a, had an opportunity in the second quarter to score and just could not do anything with it. Actually, at one point, uh, one drive, they got down to about the three yard line, I think, before they were pushed back on the fourth down. Brings up third and three. And the second time they had it, they had a fourth down pass with a fourth and 15 to go on St. Joe's side of the field, and the pass was incomplete. That'll be a first down. That was number eight. The first down, Cardinals. Travis Maddox. Now, if I don't have some of these names correct, this, those, are the, those are the names I was given. And uh, usually I go down the field and make sure with the, with the teams and I have the names and the numbers correct, but not with COVID. He was out of bounds. About a yard shy of the first down. So the Cardinals coach is still out of the ball. In the second half, 10.28 left on the third quarter clock, 13.7 St. Joe over Stritch. Got a second and one, the ball's on the 38 of St. Joe. Still going. Morehead with a huge gain, it'll be first and ten. Morehead gets first down and more, a lot more for Cardinal Stritch. They'll place the ball, I think on the ten yard line, that's where they're going to place the little packet. In the time of COVID, the teams take the ball back to their own huddle after it's, the spot's been marked by an official. The officials do not touch the football. There are really special ways uh, to treat the football. And Wilson and Spalding, the companies that make the footballs, each have their own specific way that you have to treat the ball. They have to be careful not to put too much of any kind of fl uh, cleaning agent on the football because it will um, destroy the cover. 9.26 to go, third quarter. Stretches down by six. Lead, but there was a flag right on that corner down there. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
pass interference on St. Joe. Get half the distance on the Saint, on, for St. Joe, on St. Joe. A little bit of movement, but nothing called. And the Cardinals on the first down on the two-yard line. Under nine minutes to go. Third quarter. Well, got close. He's down to about the one. I'll bring up a second down. A couple of times, St. Joe's had that one-two punch down there. I'll have one player get a little shove and hold him up a little bit, and the second player will come in and knock him out of bounds, but that was dangerously close for St. Joe. Let's see what they say when they come out of this. Third and one. Very short one. And he's in. That's down stretch. And the game's tied at 13. 8 13 to go in this third quarter. The kicker's number 81. And 21. That should be Bobby Husket. That's the point is good. Here is 14 14 stretch out of some goal. They see 13 to go in the third quarter. I'm Dan Henning for Everyday Productions. Glad you're with us today. In the time of COVID. First long punt of the night. Nice pursuit. Johnson with the return brought down at the 21. It was number three who brought the motion at the 22, 23, and it'll be first that was, uh, three. Jaden Moss. Place the ball at the 24 yard line. Burrow at quarterback. And barely got a yard out of it. 7.27 left in the third quarter. 14-13. Stretch leads. Puts him with the ball. Gets it out of the game. Five yards of it. Third and four from the 30-yard line. It's going to be a fourth down in the punting situation for St. Joe. No game on the punting team comes in. About 15 seconds left on the play clock. And now we got a whistle blowing. We've got a procedure. Too many players. Oh, 
No, maybe not. Two seconds to go. Five forty-four to go in the third quarter. Fourteen thirteen stretch over St. Joe. Video taping this on Friday, the twenty-eighth of August, two thousand and twenty. I'm Dan Henning, Perfect Day Productions. I've been doing this for this will be my thirty-first year. I'm not getting any better. I had to wait for the football to be brought back in. Now he's going to try to kick it. It's fourth down and eight after the penalty. Nice run back by Moss. Moorhead with the return will be first in the end. It seems like Moorhead, I'm sorry. 5.03 to go in this third quarter. Temperature is probably in the 70s right now. Humid. Flag is actually being blown free a little bit. The wind must have dried it out. I apologize for missing that. I was looking for the deep receiver. I think that was Mary Kurt. Under five minutes to go in the third quarter. St. Joe trailing by one. St. Joe with 13 points. That was a complete pass. This time number 17. Which is on Bradford. To Bradford for the second down. Got a second down and two. Let's him with the ball. Bring it's the first down. The first down. And the ball is going to be placed just across the 50, about the 49 yard line. And 22 is trying to carry, but he didn't get anything out of it. Johnson just got back to the line of scrimmage. 322 and counting left to play in this third quarter. St. Joe still down by one. 14-13 to Cardinal Stretch. Ball is loose twice. Which is going to come up with it. Fumble on the play, recovered by Cardinal Smith. It'll be first and ten. 2.58 to go, third quarter. Stretch with the ball. Some of you probably remember the years when, before we had this artificial turf, how muddy this oh, field would get. Carry, except about five. And it would stay that way. Maybe second and five. And the grass could get all torn up. Sidelines were just all mud pits. And that turf is so much better for that. Sometimes there are those who don't like the turf. Mm, 
Come down about the 40 yard line. It should be a first down. Got a flag back there. Mr. Maddox may lose that yardage. Holding on Carlos Switch. That's a sizable one. And we clear back oh, yeah, to the 40 yard line, about the 41, 42 yard line. This is the 41. That'll be second and 20. It's going to be uh, third and 15 from the 45 yard line. 44 yard line. I was saying third and 14 from the 45. Is that a bounce? It's going to bring a fourth down. And fourth and a long five for the Cardinals. Ball was on the 46 yard line of St. Joe. Cardinals lead 14 13 after spotting the streaks. Two touchdowns. They haven't started the game clock or the uh, play clock. Now we're going to have a timeout. 107 to go in the third quarter. Fourth and five. Streets is lining up to punt. Seventy-nine, I think, is in that tackle. Oh, St. Joe. And that's uh, Jacob Wetzel. Switch the take over on downs. Wetzel with a tackle. St. Joe takes over on downs. We have one of five left to play in this third quarter. Change possession means the clock also stops. Well, oh, keeps it and Lose a bit of the one that play. It's coming up a third. And at least uh, ten. That's where we'll be. And we finish three quarters. 14 13, stretch over St. Joe. 12 minutes to play. This is Friday, August the 28th, 2020, in the time of COVID. Burrow goes back to pass the long one. And I think that is intercepted. Ball is intercepted. By the Cardinals, it'll be first and ten. That's number three. Stretch helps himself out by getting the ball right back. And number 73, the center, has the ball. About ready to put it down in the play. He got the little back back toward the Cardinals, but he still loses a couple of yards on it. About a third and 11, I think. Oh, 
Throws it short, and it goes into the turf. Fourth down. Number five, back to kick. Punt it away. 11 5 to go in the game. Stutz leading 14 13. Don't let it roll. Nice kick down to the 35 yard line, and that's where St. Joe will take over. With 10.49 to go in the game, trailing here by one. I understand it's been a hectic week over at St. Joe. A lot of things going on, a lot of sports. Gary Geller, the athletic director, says he needs a week off. Ryan Spicer is the head coach for St. Joe. Ten minutes to go in this fourth quarter. 14-13 stretch. I guess it's Ball's loose. And with the end of the that rise, switch level first down from the 46-yard line of St. Joe. Nine fifty-four left in the game. Stewart's playing a very good defensive game here in the second half. Hand off. Touchdown for Curtin Stitch. Nice series of plays for the Cardinals. 9.26 to go in the game. It is 20 to 13. Stitch leading. And of course they'll go for the single point. Maintain an eight-point lead. Or get an eight-point lead. Well, it's good. Twenty-one thirteen. Stretch over St. Joe. Twenty-one kickoff. And Johnson gets the ball out to the 40, excuse me, the 38 yard line. Nowhere to go. The line is really stiffened up for us. Awesome. the ball. No good. No good. Officials have their masks or gators. Some, some are wearing gators. The pass is complete for the first down. Forty-three. Can you believe with the reception? 
18, 8, 10 to go in the fourth quarter. Lost some yardage on that one. That's what's been with St. Joe. They've gained a little bit of yardage, but then they lose some. That would seem to be the problem of stretch in the first Lost half. Lost a couple yards on that play. He threw it away. Yes, it's completely set up the wind. It's late. It's only about 14. That was received. Pass to Ty Hitzman. Hitzman for the first shot. Didn't have a first down. Cody's on St. Joe, the ball will be coming back. Cody's on St. Joe. So it comes back to 42 yard line. It'll be a third and 19. Come to make them up a fourth and 16. Down for the streaks. 6.24 to go in the game. St. Joe's line up for a punt. I think it's 33 is back to punt this one away. Didn't have any four catches tonight. And Stritch is in position again. We'll have the ball on their own 40 or 40. Yeah. 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 Right up the middle for about five yards. Another couple of yards. Maddox again. Third and three from the 49. Their own, excuse me, the uh, St. Joe 49. First down for, for the Cardinals. Another Cardinal first down with four and a half minutes to play. Stritch has all three timeouts left. St. Joe has two. Another couple of yards. Three thirty-nine to go in the game. Cardinals have the good opportunity to just use up the clock, and that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, it's going to the first down and more. You can hear one of the stretch coaches in the booth next to me telling them, "Don't run out of bounds," but obviously can't hear that. 
going out of bounds makes that clock stop, and it stopped at 325. But the way that Stritch has been playing in the second half, it's, uh, they'll still maintain control of it. Second and seven. I was on the 14-yard line, so technically, Stritch can get can get uh, one more first down if they need it. Ooh, that is it. Third and seven. Gene Rucker is the head coach for the Cardinals. About to get his first win of the season. So I was able to hold on to 33 to go in the game. This is a fourth and eight. They, St. Joe took the timeout. And they have one left. Fourth and eight. They're going to go for the three. It is no good. It's no good. St. Joe will throw it on down. 2.29 to go. St. Joe has one timeout left. Trailing 21-13. Sacked. Burrow is sacked. Got a second and eighteen. Pass was intended for Hurt. It's going to be a third down coming up. Third and 18, minute 46 to go in the game. Going to bring up a fourth down. And about five, maybe, yeah, five, about five. Johnson with the reception. A minute 15 to go. Fourth down for the streaks. Say so it's a fourth and four from the 16. And we got procedure called. Ball start on St. Joe. Ball start makes it a fourth and nine. Throws it away or throws it too far, and that means it still shows 51 seconds. I can take the knee because St. Joe only has one timeout left. 21 13 is the score. Cardinal Stritch. That's exactly what they're going to do, is take an A. We're down about 44 seconds, and that should be the next to last play of the game. About five seconds difference between the play clock and the game clock. So they're just going to take one more knee.
Takes me and that should be it. 18 seconds to go. And time's going to run out. 21-13 is the final score. The game for our Adelaide, Chorus, and Joe, and the Adelaide Directions by the Hope you join us right here again next time.